Well, hello, BC. Yeah, I'm back so soon. I told you I'd try to make uh, more videos more often so I wouldn't have, you know, an hour of videos of the latest vinyl finds. Uh, try to keep it a little bit shorter. It's going to be difficult because I, I like to talk. And so, first of all, I have an announcement. You know, Jimmy Page has spent the last two years remastering all the early Led Zeppelin records. And you know, the best records out there now are these uh, classic records on this super expensive heavy duty vinyl. Uh, you know me, I went, I bought these when they first came out from Red Trumpet. I paid, I think they were twenty nine ninety five or about for this, which was kind of expensive back then. But boy, such a, so nice records. I mean, if you haven't seen any YouTube videos or anything about these things, I mean, I'm telling you what. Big, thick, you know, nice smooth edge. Look at how shiny, thick, beautiful. Ah. Uh, just better than original and then you get these super nice big thick records and the phenomenal sound on them you know Led Zeppelin was never known for painstakingly taking care of the sound and quality on their records and these are so so great so the wonderful news is that Jimmy Page has now reissued these things well, they're, it's gonna, they're coming out soon. I shouldn't say they're, they're, they're on their way out. They're going to be pressed in Palace, Germany, in the EU. And according to, I think it's on both Music Direct and the Lucid Disc, that it's supposed to be the best sounding version ever. It's supposed to sound better than these. So that's what I'm going to do. When they come out in the next month or whenever it is, you can go on Music Direct or Acoustic Sounds and you can look up because what they're going to do with these records too, they're going to make a single version and those are supposed to be like $25 and then they're going to make a double version which is going to have a whole bunch of music on there, uh, you know, different takes and kind of like they did with the Jimi Hendrix stuff. And then even like Zed, Led Zeppelin 1, I think they were having like a triple record of all kinds of different songs on there, of course, in the original record. And of course, those are going for probably $50 or something. But that's great news for people who don't want to go and spend big money with, that these cost on eBay. We're going to be able to get them again, and maybe they'll be even better. So that's great news. Uh, as I mentioned, at the end of the month, Quality Records is coming out with this Joker, and I can't wait to compare it and let you all know how that's going to work out. Now, these are some of their latest records I've got. This is Bad Company. Now this is the one I just picked up. This is the original, and it's from 1974. You know, it's a gatefold, but back in 74, they weren't making records quite as nice as they used to. But it's still, it's, it's, you see, it's, you know, it's just a double, but it's the, it's the original. It's on the Swiss song, 1974, and that's, a, uh, I believe, a Canadian pressing. But, you know, I really love these Rhino reissues, and I've been trying to find this for a while. Try to get one you know, kind of on the cheap, but, you know, they, they don't really go to... Everybody loves this record, and they sell a lot of them. And uh, this is the first Bad Company record, of course, and this is a really good record. If you haven't heard it, yeah, pick it up. It's a good record. Uh, they did a nice job. Uh, it's nice, thick, it's shiny. I mean, it could have been a little bit thicker cardstock, but this isn't, you know, a classic records reissue. It's a rhino, and uh, it's pretty faithful to the original, the way the original was done. It's actually a little bit nicer, I would say, than the original. And one thing that they do that I'm not big, real fancy of is, you know, people like these. These are really thick, I mean, nice and heavy duty. And they're supposed to, you know, this is supposed to not scratch your records, but yeah, I don't want to take the chance on that. So, right off the bat, what I do is I put it in this quality records inner sleeve. And now I just bought from the Elusive Disc, because I think they're the parent company of uh, 
quality records. I bought 250 of these at a time. And it works out to where, like on the webpage, I talk about these disc keepers that you get from Sleeve City. Well, they're $20 for 50, right? You get 250 of these for 75. So it works out where you get like 50 free. And with Sleeve City, you know, you'd always have to pay shipping. And it's, when I, for my shipping, it's usually like seven, eight dollars all the time for shipping. Now, with uh, quality records and, and elusive disc and that type of thing, uh, you don't have to pay shipping as long as you're buying a hundred dollars with the records. So I usually just wait. You know, here I would need this record. I'm, you know, I'm going to be buying the Ted Nugent, maybe a couple other things. And once I get up to my hundred dollars, then I get the sleeves. Well, the sleeves, it's all free shipping then. So you have to always try to cut corners where you can. And, uh, but now the real good part about the record, of course, is how does it sound? It sounds fantastic. I'm really, really happy with the sound of it. Really sounds nice. So much better than the original first edition. That, uh, yeah, it's, it's really, really good. Now, another one that I picked up was this Rio Grande Mud reissue on the, on the, uh, and this is again a first edition as you can tell by the original inner sleeve you know look at this stuff on here you know you got the stones moody blues engelbert you know so we're we're talking first edition here for sure it's like supposed to be 1972 so you can see it pretty well and then uh i think i've got this actually at a garage sale this record because you can see kind of a cat got into the box and scratched it up. So this is an old garage garage sale find, you know what I mean? Back 50 cent record that I've had. And it's on the Blue London label. But, you know, I looked at it under the high light and I couldn't really see hardly any scratches at all on it. But, boy, when you drop the needle on it, boy, has it ever got a lot of crackles and stuff on it. I guess I should pop, push it through the spin clean. But it's just... It needs, it needs a little bit of help, you know. I've had it for 25 years at a garage sale, and now I got this one. And boy, what a, what a, so much nicer. Nice pebble cover, just like this, but it, it's, it's like a big old, bigger pebble cover. And the nice thick card stock, I mean, it's probably really, really faithful to the original. I would say it's as good or better than the original as far as the cover is concerned. And the record now, the, the record, of course, is really nice. Pristine pressings. RTI is doing such a wonderful job of pressing their records now. There's not even a scratch. There's no hairlines. There's not even a piece of lint on nothing. They're really gorgeous. Uh, the, the sound difference between the first and the second, I mean, the original first pressing and the reissue now, the Rhino reissue, is... Um, of course, this one is, is better, of course, than this. But if you're familiar with the sound of Trey's Ombres, this is 72, this is 73. The sound on this is a lot more dynamic than it is on this record. This record is more bluesy. This is just before they've got more, kind of a little more rock going on with the Trey's Ombres. And this 1972 ZZ Top. You know, it's got stuff on here like Just Got Paid and uh, Barbecue, Whiskey Mama, you know, a lot more blues type influence, blues type guitar with a little bit of that course ZZ Top in there. But the dynamics of the whole thing is, is not as good as this. This is a fantastic sounding record. And of course, then you get into Deguela, I think this is like 75 or 76. Maybe even, maybe it'd be 79, I can't remember exactly. I'd have to look on everything, but uh, yeah, 79. Wow, this thing, this thing will knock your socks off. This is a fan, this is like one of my best sounding records ever. This has really got the dynamic range on it. This is the best sounding ZZ Top record of Trey Zombri's ever produced. And these are all re Rhino reissues, of course. And the reason I'm talking about it is if you don't have this and you're thinking, wow, it's going to be as good as that, it's not as dynamic as, as this. Of course, like I said, it's better than this one. It's really good, but it just doesn't have that real 
big bottom end on like the other ones do. Okay, so now what I wanted to talk about was a little bit of Jimi Hendrix. The first rays of the new rising sun, Jimi Hendrix. You know, I just opened all this stuff up and listened to it. I've had it sitting there, but uh, I haven't hadn't opened it up. And the reason I didn't do it is because I just got this. This Voodoo Child on the red vinyl. Classic Records, limited edition, red vinyl, box set, four LPs in here. And I cut it where I could keep the shrink on it for now anyway, on the, on the outside of the box. So we'll try to open it up. Be careful not to mess it up too bad. So here's what you get inside now. A little piece of bubble wrap on top. Winner Free Classic Records. And you got a little advertisement for, you know, Future Tech and some stuff in there. And then, of course, uh, Classic Records is advertising for their records. And then, you, of course, you get a nice book to start off with. A lot of these box sets, you know, they're going to have a, a little book in there. And this one is about on par with the rest of them. It's pretty, it's nice thick cards, card paper on here. Really nice color, really nice feel to it, nice and shiny. Got a lot of stories about Jimmy and him in here. And of course it has all the lyrics to the songs. And it's a nice item. It's nice to have the little book in there. And then you get the four records and the nice album sleeves. But the one thing I didn't like so much about it was look what the look kind of inner sleeve you got you get with the record. Yeah, the paper the cheesy little paper inner sleeve. Come on. $50 record. I mean, that's a good deal on this now. And uh, Elusive Disc still has a few of them that they're selling for $50. Nobody else has any. Uh, I saw it on eBay and I said, man, I'm going to go see. And that, sure enough, there was one. But look at that piece of junk. Who wants to use that? You know, right away, I went out and I put this on here right away. It's so much nicer. And the record itself, you know, very sexy, that translucent red vinyl and the sound on it wow the sound on it is great really 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 nice really love the sound of, of, the, of, the, of the records and you've got two studio LPs I shouldn't say studio but but uh, studio type uh, re recordings and then you've got two which are live recordings two LPs which are live recordings and uh, I was really impressed with the live recordings. A lot of times, live recordings for me, I'm not really impressed with them. I, but while the sound stage was right across the room, and Jimmy's voice was really, really clear, and the drum kit came across better than a, a lot of the studio records did, yeah, and the cymbals and everything was really clear. So I really liked that. And so what I did was, I said, well, how good is that box set? Because it's always about what do you compare it to. Well, I've since got rid of all my original Jimi Hendrix records, and I, I bought the reissues because the reissues are, are better than those first editions uh, were. And of course, I've got some of these other ones, so that's what I did. I found a few songs on here that were it's the same song, and I compared them. Compared this record. This one is another one. Okay, let's just finish talking about this a little bit. This first Rays of the New Sun is a double record. Again, they come with a book. You know, they really do a nice job. They come with a book. It's not as quite nice, not quite not as nice as that box set book. But you know, these are double records, and there's a lot of uh, new stuff on here, and there's a lot of there's some of the older stuff, but, you know, Freedom, Isabella, Nightbird Flying, Angel, Room Full of Mirrors, Dolly Dagger, Easy Rider, Drifting. Wow, I mean, these are fantastic songs, song after song. There's not a weak song on here. You know, some of them older Jimi Hendrix records, I'd listen to them and I'm like, okay, I like this song and I like that song and this thing, but wow. And the sound on this stuff is beyond reproach. What they did, if you're not familiar with what they've done now, 
you know, the family has got a hold of all the tapes because there was fights over for years with the record companies. And they just went to the, you know, the, what the times all ran out on the, on the, and so now the family has got the stuff and they're putting it out. And a lot of this stuff is done with Jimmy's old recording engineer. And they have taken all the best tracks and put them together in these records. And the sound, if you're just used to those old Jimi Hendrix records and the sound on them, I, I just bought another one of these. I've got two of them now. I've got one that's sealed. I mean, I think I just paid, it was $20 for it. It's a double record, 180 gram, beautiful. I mean, I mean, talk about thick. These are thick. These are the way, this is the way it's supposed to be done. These packages here. And uh, same thing with this record. It's the same exact thing. I mean, lots of great, great songs on it. Has the book in here, same thing. But again, it came with those uh, those thicker type inner sleeves. So I, I always I really like these. I put those in here. I like these better. And then this is what I've done now. I bought these. And it's the same type of thing. It's not quite as thick as cardstock as those. But this is uh, back to, to black, that type of thing. Of course, it comes with the book. Same kind of idea. MCA heavy vinyl, you know, or... And so I, I compared on these three records, all these three, I compared the uh, songs, what was on here. I think it was Dolly Dagger to this box set. And the difference between Dolly Dagger on this one and Dolly Dagger on this one is this one how when he's playing his guitar during the song and when he's singing, the the lead guitar is a bit bit stronger on this. This is more true to the original uh, way that the song was done. That guitar is more prominent in the, in the beginning. This one is not is not quite as prominent. You hear his voice more on this one. Um, but overall, the recordings on this I really liked how they were done. I, they really sound nice. Uh, and I preferred this version a lot of times to the other other ones, but now the Dolly Dagger, when it was on playing on this record, I just couldn't stop listening to it. I mean, I was just all the way through. I, I was trying to compare, but you know, I just could. It just kept going and going. And then of course I had to try to listen to all the different songs on the on the LP to recommend it to you. So wow, great record. And again, a great record here. Fantastic record here. Really, really, really like that record. And again, another one of those. Just a fabulous record. All the songs on it. And on this one, it was Stone Free. Now, Stone Free, I was able to compare this record, the box set, and I think this one, too, has Stone Free on it. I can't even remember anymore. I know it. Yeah, it's a double record. It's got Stone Free on it. So I was able to compare all those three. And here's the deal with this one now. This is faithful to the original, of course, because this is supposed to be the original. And when Jimmy's singing, Stone Free, and uh, it sounds like they got him in a, a reverb chamber because there's a lot, he's, like, he's singing in a tunnel. You can really hear the echo and his voice isn't really clear. You know, on a lot of those Jimi Hendrix records, there's something about it that it's not really clear. The way he sings is not, it's not clear. They've got him in some kind of acoustic chamber and they're doing stuff to his voice. It's not clear. But on these other ones, wow. His voice is so clear, so distinct. It's more of, uh, you know, you are there kind of a quality. So, uh, and then I also compared Purple Haze and it's the purple haze is on on this, and it's also on Voodoo Child. And uh, wow, they're all pretty close. But the, I thought that was best was best done on this record. And uh, this one too, Stone Freeze on here. And 